Hi, I'm Daryl Leary, and I am flying the DJI Mavic Mini under 250 grams. And I am at uh, the White Mud Park parking lot. So it's just south of the uh, White Mud Drive. And um, it's on the south side of White Mud Drive. And, and I'm doing a 360 uh, pan here, just rotating the drone. Because north of the White Mud Drive, where you, you see a, beyond that bridge there, is all closed off because Epcot's doing work. So all the trails and everything are closed off. So this was the part of uh, White Mud Creek that I could explore. And of course, White Mud Creek uh, drains into the North Saskatchewan River. Or I don't know if the North Saskatchewan River feeds it. But uh, this was a really interesting area because the stream, uh, it loops around itself and it curves. And uh, there's a nice muddy uh, cliff face. And there's the white mud drive and you can see the river, the stream just going underneath. And uh, you can actually see me in this shot here. I'm uh, I'm on the left, left of center coming into view and uh, my black backpack is right in front of me. So straight ahead of the bench. And this is a nice little pond here that's uh, pretty cool but it's a really interesting area and uh, I plan I'm hoping to go back to this area with my other cameras and uh, get all sorts of footage and hopefully a lot of 360 shots there's a water drain there or runoff whatever that is and I'm flying about 260 feet above the ground and uh, and it looks like I'm really close to the treetops, but I'm I'm really not. This was a nice little feature. Kind of swampy looking stream here. So most of this drone flight, I just uh, followed these, these tiny little features. And uh, today was was a bit smoggy because of the wildfires in Washington State, I believe. It's finally reached Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Oh, there's a bird. That's cool. And there was another place I wanted to drone today too, but uh, they were having a wedding there. So, oh, you can see some people walking down there. I think they're gonna come into view here soon. Yeah. Yeah, now you can see them right in the center of the screen there. They're walking on a trail. So I want to explore these trails with my different cameras. And uh, this is this is a nice feature. I like this kind of swampy water. And this the creek didn't really seem to be flowing. It just uh, it just seemed to be sitting there for the most part. And uh, I guess we're getting into fall here. I don't know if summer has officially ended. I think it's going to officially end in one or two days. Because this is September 19th. Oh, there is a lot of nice colors. You can see the smog there, eh? Uh, normally you'd be able to see much further out, but, but, uh, because of that smog, the transparency just decreases. So I'm following a bit of the stream here. And, uh, this is all area I, I intend to explore further. There was a lot of people here. Oh my God. A lot of people. I was it was it was really surprising. Yeah, I think I'm going up in elevation. Yeah, 312 317 feet. 
<laughs> I kept getting lost in this area because uh, <laughs> there's just trees everywhere you look. <laughs> This white rock cliff face here is really, really cool. Uh, to the left of, of the center of the screen here, I love how it's just, it's, it's got like this whitish marble shade to it. That's, that's, that's really cool. And uh, yeah, we can actually see a person on the right side there uh, walking along the, the creek there. So maybe they even saw the drone, I don't know. And there you can see me again, but I, I, I look very small, of course. And uh, that's actually a nice bridge. I like how the, the creek uh, splits off and sort of goes off into two different directions. But the creek itself didn't have much movement, but... Uh, I just I just love the the terrain. You know, uh the wind was a bit gust gusty. I think it was gusting up to uh 15 miles per hour, so So at the beginning of the the drone flight, I was taking it easy and just taking some pictures and then I started the video after I took all the pictures I wanted to take. See a nice little trail going through there. I kind of wish the trail went closer to the water because that's what I'd like to see when I walk on a trail. Is I like to see streams and creeks and rivers and things like that. Yeah, I think here I was getting a closer look at the at the traffic. And then uh, everything beyond this road is all closed off because of EPCOR. My last drone video was actually um, higher up, farther along the, the White Mud Creek there. And if you go far, far enough, uh, there's the North Saskatchewan River. So that's the ski, ski valley, ski club, whatever. Um, and what's, what's, what's really interesting is that uh, Whenever I do a drone flight, I always study the terrain on um, Google Maps or Google Earth before I fly my drone. And I'm always surprised because the way it looks on Google Earth doesn't always uh, match reality. Um, I guess the uh, perception of actually being there seems different than uh, just looking at it on a map. Because you see these tall towering trees and you wonder about things like, am I going to be able to keep my drone signal and you know all these kind of things right yeah I think this is where I where I was gonna go further down and um, try to get more of this creek as I could this cliff face on the on the on the side here on the left side I think is is where I originally wanted to uh, take off my second spot but they were having a wedding there and uh, so I didn't want to cause problems flying a drone during their wedding photo shoot or whatever but but it's a pretty cool video I think Oh yeah, I like this part. This is where the creek uh, loops, makes a loop. Yeah, so that was actually my first location. And then you have to drive all the way around to get to the second location or walk through a bunch of trees. Which isn't so easy. So this is basically my return to home flight. 
that I'm taking now. And it's a pretty interesting area. It really is. Now it's got a lot of really interesting terrain and uh, interesting in, interesting features. You know, I'm surprised I didn't visit this area earlier, being in my home city. So, and I'm 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 standing right in front of those uh, five trees there. And you can even see my wife's car in the parking lot, the, bl the blue matrix. And there was actually a man walking around here giving people parking tickets. Uh, a few people that were sitting in handicap parking that didn't have the handicap placard. So I wanted to get myself, I wanted to get myself in this video. So I thought I would come down with a shot where I come more and more into view, looking straight down. And I'm just below center. And see me looking up <laughs> that's cool and there I am there's my backpack close up of the grass I'm just about to grab my drone. That's what I usually do is grab it from out of the air. But anyways, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. And I'm Daryl Leary. Oh, flying a drone is so much fun. Okay, take care.